I was interested in this particular project because of its applications to my previous research. If you walked into the room, you would see me in a lab coat. I would have a bunch of test tubes, and I would be putting different components into the test tubes. From all this wet lab research, I noticed that it was actually really important in order to analyze the data that we were collecting to have these different skills in computer science. So I thought, why not take a leap, try the computer science major, and see if I like it. And that's what got me interested in the project with CS+, um, working on developing machine learning algorithms to predict binding between proteins and chemicals based on their folded shape. My entire team and I had no prior practical experience with machine learning, and we were tackling making an entire machine learning architecture. So we tried several things that didn't work for our model, but we didn't need to start over from the beginning. Luckily, we could just switch the code back and start from where we began, and it was much more um, conducive to creativity. For instance, we chose multiple different ways of modeling our random forest model. So basically, the random forest has so many different parameters that we can change to make our model more accurate. Rather than having to redo an experiment all over, like in a wet lab experiment, we can go into the random forest and really tinker with those different parameters and see how it comes out, which is really, really cool. As a result, we actually were able to develop not only one, but three machine learning architectures that were able to, in some cases, predict binding between olfactory receptors and chemicals. And one of our models, the random forest algorithm, was actually able to predict binding affinity with a balanced accuracy of 90%. Now that we have these three architectures, we know a lot more about how we can possibly model not only just olfactory receptors binding to chemicals, but this model could be expanded into binding of all proteins to chemicals, which is really important for applications in the pharmaceutical industry, because this would allow us to develop tools that would speed up the process of drug development for applications in curing diseases all around the world. I would say this project has really expanded my mind to what research can be. Coming into Duke, I imagine research was primarily at a bench pipetting between tubes, and that was where research ended. But I realized that these kind of computer science experiments can be much broader because we're now able to handle such a large quantity of data with these new computing technologies that we're creating.